the little Darius versus Mateus Gamrot is going down, and this is a big fight for Gamrot, man. I mean, if he wins this, he's more than likely going to probably get a title shot or fight one of the one of the upper end fighters in the lightweight division. I'm actually picking Benil Darius to win this fight, though. I think he's quite underrated. He has had a year and a half out of the cage, but I mean, just looking at each of them fight mutual opponents, um, I just think Darius is. If it was a five-round fight, I'd say Gamera would win this. Um, but in a three-round fight, I just think Darius is going to just do more. I don't think Gamera's going to be able to get the better of Darius with the rest and the grappling. The only the only thing I do see, though, is that Darius does get a little bit tired, um, like we saw in um, all of his last couple of fights, in a, in a Ferreira fight, um, in the Holtzman fight, the Drakkar close fight. And in a lot of these fights, he gets he gets he he looks tired, he looks laboured, he gets tagged, and he looks like he's, he's starting to walk. But... He explodes, he comes with some serious offense, and we've seen him like a machine as a recent. Um, obviously, the KO victories he's had, though, um, I, don't, I don't think it's good to look too much into them because they're a little bit of surprise KOs where he's caught his opponents off guard. And one thing Darius is, is good in doing is because he has such a grappling advantage over a majority of his opponents, he's able to drag them into brawls where he threatens them with the grappling, but then he's able to beat them up up close because of the threat of the takedowns. It opens up the striking for him. Uh, and, then he, and then because of that pressure, he causes uh, you know big effect and he causes these sort of KOs like we saw in the Holtzman fight and in the um, Drakkar Close fight. Um, like Drakkar Close, he hurt him after being swarmed with grappling. He hurt Benil Darius, tried to you know put it on him, got a bit wild, and then Darius ended up turning his lights up. And then the Holtzman fight, the spinning back of his KO, I think again down to like a lack of foundations from Holtzman uh, alongside the pressure from Darius it caused that fumble which allowed Darius to score that spinning back fist KO but against Gamrot I don't really see those opportunities presenting itself I do see Darius putting on pressure on Gamrot landing successful strikes but I don't think he's going to land those sort of um, finishing shots on Gamrot because I think Gamrot has got good foundation he's got good wrestling and grappling so I think they'll neutralise each other in that regard and I think when you're looking at purely stand-up Darius just puts a lot more emphasis on his offense um, he's a lot more explosive and has a little bit more output in that regard so I just see Darius winning um, it all depends on how he is a year and a half out of the cage um, if, if he's in good shape and if he's able to pick up how he left off then I actually see him edging Gamera on a on a decision here, uh, on a close one, though, on a close one. It's not going to be like a, a dominant victory for either of them in this one. Um, I'd give Darius edge, but again, it depends on how he is a year and a half out of the cage and how Gamera decides to pace himself. I mean, if Gamera, we saw him five rounds against Sarukian, he's able to comfortably fight five rounds against a, a really good prospect in Armand Sarukian. So if he's able to condense himself and fight to a higher output over three rounds, then... It's Gamrot's fight, but we can't say, uh, we can't base it off something we haven't seen him do before. Generally speaking, Matthias Gamrot's a little bit of a slow star. Um, and yeah, I just see, I see Darius just doing more, man. I see him actually edging it. Again, close one, not not really one to be too confident in, in betting and, and, and so on and so forth. But yeah, going with Darius in this one, who do you think? Yeah, How do you see this one going down? I see this is, this is going to be a cracking fight. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm a big Darius fan now. Um, he's he's a proper exciting fighter, explosive man. He's proper explosive, and um, you you are right. He does um start to tire out, but this isn't a five round fight, so um his output and his explosiveness may out outdo Gamrot. Um, Gamrot's Gamrot's takedowns are great, you know. So um, he may be forced into going to the ground where he might have a slight advantage over Darush but Darush can can wrestle you know um and his his takedowns are are good himself so he does know how to grapple and he can go against Gamera in that in that um sense but um I just see Darush as you said doing more I just see his, his output as we've seen his output is crazy from the jump you know as soon as soon as that bell goes round one he's just in there throwing a variety of combos variety of of strikes and and grappling, he he mixes it up. It's it's like he throws it he throws it all in there. You know, like he goes all in and off. He he puts it all all out there straight away, and it's just he he forces he forces his opponent to fight his way, and that's what I really like about him. And I think I think he's gonna do the same to Gamrot, just as we've seen him do before. 
That's exactly how I was. Yeah, I, I've, I, I do know Gamera is a very good, good fighter, and we have seen him fight. You know, he does handle pressure well, but Darius doesn't do pressure wildly. He is very controlled, so that's what I think. I, I think he's yeah. gonna, he's gonna put on that pressure, and he's gonna, he's gonna definitely finish, finish. Um, well, he's gonna definitely be looking for the finish from Gamera. Yeah. But, one, one inconsistency I've noticed from Gamera is that. In his last fight against Sarukian, we saw him getting like losing the first couple of rounds. Round three picked it up. Round four and five, he was able to you know show yeah. his dominance, score a lot of takedowns, so forth. But in the in the in the Ferreira fight, Gamrot looked like he was tiring a, like quite quite a lot in a stretch of a three round fight. Um, so that was quite interesting to see. It's a little bit of an inconsistency. Obviously, the Sarukian fight he probably prepared for, um, and was ready to go five rounds, but. Let's see how, how he looks in this three-round fight against Darius. Both of us leaning with Darius, but a close one we think is going to be quite competitive. Of course, you know, Gamma... It's going to be a great, great fight. Yeah. Of course, you know, Gamma is a, is a contender and obviously up there now after beating Saruki and uh, he's climbing up the ranks. And yeah, let's see let's see what happens. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and we'll be back with more to cover UFC 280.